Hello, everyone. Welcome to English with Charles, where we make English learning simple and fun. I'm Charles, your guide on this journey, so let's jump right into today's lesson and expand our horizons together. The Secret Key Ria woke with the sun and started her day as usual. She took a shower, got dressed, and had breakfast, some toast and coffee. Ria lived alone in a small apartment in the city. She worked as an assistant at a law firm downtown. As Ria left her apartment to catch the bus to work, she noticed an envelope on the floor by her door. It was white with no writing on it. That's strange. I wonder who left this here, she thought. Ria picked up the envelope and opened it. Inside was a single key and a small note that said, You will understand soon. Be careful. Ria was confused. Who left this key and note for her? What did it mean she needed to be careful? As the bus pulled up, Ria put the envelope and its contents in her bag to think about later. She had to get to work. At the office, Ria tried to focus on her work but she couldn't stop thinking about the strange envelope. During her lunch break, Ria pulled it out again to examine the key and note more closely. The key had no markings on it, so she had no idea what lock it might open. The note gave her an uneasy feeling. Why would someone want her to be careful but not explain why? After work, Ria decided to stop by the police station on her way home to ask about the mysterious key and note. However, when she got there, she lost her nerve. What if the police couldn't help her or even thought she was wasting their time? With no clues as to where the key belonged or who left it, Ria decided to go home and hope that more would become clear later. When Ria arrived at her apartment, she noticed that her door was slightly open. Her heart raced as she slowly pushed the door open further. Everything seemed normal, but she had definitely locked her door that morning. Had someone been in her apartment? Ria's first thought was that this must be connected to the strange key somehow. She began searching her small home carefully, looking for any signs of an intruder or anything else out of place. Everything appeared untouched, except in one place, her bedroom drawer was now open. Ria never left that drawer open, and she was sure it had been closed this morning. With shaking hands, Ria slowly pulled open the drawer further. Inside, propped up against the back, was an envelope just like the one she had received that day. Only this envelope had writing on the front. It said, Read me. Ria's heart pounded as she took out the envelope and opened it with trembling fingers. Inside was a letter, Dear Ria, I'm sorry for alarming you, but it was important that only you find this letter. You are in danger, and people are after something belonging to you. I cannot explain more here for your own safety. The key I left with the first note will open a storage unit, Unit 12 at Charlie Storage on 5th Street. Go there now, and you will find answers. Hurry and be cautious, you are being watched. A friend. Ria's mind raced with questions and fear. What could she possibly have that someone else wanted badly enough to break into her home? And who was this friend who claimed to be helping her? Only one thing was clear she needed to get to that storage unit, and fast. Grabbing her bag and keys, Ria hurried out of her apartment and to the storage facility, glancing around nervously as she went. When she arrived, she saw that the entire place appeared deserted. It was getting late. Ria located Unit 12 and, with shaking hands, inserted the key. She took a deep breath to steady her nerves before pulling open the door. Inside, it was dark until Ria found the light switch on the wall. She gasped as the unit lit up. 
It was filled from floor to ceiling with books. Rhea stepped closer and examined some of the titles. They were old history books, some about her own city. Why would books be the answer or cause of any danger? As Rhea searched through, confused, one book near the back caught her eye. It had her last name printed on the spine in faded gold letters. Her hands trembling, Rhea peeled out the book and opened the cover. Taped inside was another envelope addressed to her. To be continued, Rhea read at the end of the short note. Now more questions than answers filled Rhea's mind. She realized she was in deep, and whatever this mystery was, it was only just beginning. She took a photo of the page with her name to study later and carefully replaced the book, turning off the light before leaving Unit 12 and locking it behind her. Rhea knew this secret was hers to solve now, but she had no idea of the unbelievable discoveries and dangers still ahead. Rhea's mind raced as she left the storage unit. She had more questions than ever but at least now had a small lead, the book with her last name inside. Rhea decided the safest thing now was to go straight home, so she hurried to catch the next bus. On the trip, Rhea pulled out her phone to photograph the page inside the book again for closer study. Under the bright screen, she noticed very faint writing she had missed before. Using zoom and brightness, Rhea could just make out a series of numbers scribbled underneath in faded ink. It must be an address of some kind. When Rhea arrived home, she locked the door and pulled out her laptop to research what she had found. She searched for the address and was shocked by what appeared. It was an old mansion just outside the city that had been abandoned for decades. Rumors said it was haunted or cursed. Why would this mysterious book lead her there? Curiosity and the need for answers growing, Rhea decided she had to check out the mansion the next day. But first, safety in numbers. She called her friend Priya to explain her strange dilemma and asked if she would go along, not telling all the fearful details. Priya agreed to meet early and drive together. The next morning, the two young women headed out of the city following Rhea's notes. When they arrived, the Gothic mansion was even more imposing up close. Boarded windows stared down like hollow eyes. Rhea and Priya approached cautiously, finding the door unlocked as if expecting them, exchanging nervous glances, they stepped inside. The foyer was dark and cobwebbed, echoing their footsteps. Rhea called out, trembling, but no answer came. Suddenly, a creak above made them jump. They had to find out what secrets this house held about Rhea's past. Bravely, they began exploring the dilapidated rooms, unaware of danger lurking in the shadows. Rhea and Priya cautiously made their way up the creaky staircase, calling out periodically but hearing nothing in return. The thick dust on the steps showed they were likely the first visitors in many years. The first room they searched was empty except for a large portrait hanging crookedly on the wall. Rhea brushed cobwebs away and gasped. The aristocratic couple staring back were clearly her ancestors from long ago. This confirmed her family must have lived here once. As they moved on, Rhea stumbled upon an old journal half buried under debris. She carefully blew the dust away and cracked it open. The faded handwriting documented daily life in intricate detail, even mentioning a ball held to celebrate Rhea's ancestor's daughter's birthday. A strange symbol was doodled throughout, a bird in a circle.